Hey folks, welcome back to Challenged. I'm out in the shop working on a C10 chassis right here, taking apart the front suspension, and I need to do some rust removal. And as we all know, there's certain parts like control arms that just have all kinds of nooks and crannies that are just incredibly hard to get any sort of wire wheel or basically anything in there to do it. So I've come up with another way to get rid of all of this rust and it's really easy to do. We're going to chemically treat this with phosphoric acid. And the best way I found to do it, I went to my local Lowe's, got this clean strip concrete and metal prep acid and it's in the paint aisle and it's worked great. I've used this over and over and over again and this bunch of acid that's in here has been treating tons and tons of different things so it can be used over and over and over again but the main thing is that you get a product that is phosphoric acid there's other acids that will work but they will literally eat the metal away so phosphoric acid is what you need this was i think it was 17 dollars from lowe's whenever i bought it not sure what it is right now but it's not terribly expensive and that's for a full gallon I got a bunch of gallons because I knew I was gonna be doing a bunch of this. When you're ready to treat this stuff, you wanna get your metal as clean as possible. This will not work on painted surfaces or if you have a bunch of oil and grease, stuff like that on there or a bunch of dirt, you know, it's there to treat rust. So I just took these outside, a little bit of uh, soap, water and a scrub brush, just got them all nice and clean. They were pretty clean to start with, but as you can see, Pretty darn gross and rusty. Easy way to do this. So we're just going to pop this in. I am using a rubber glove. Just get that in. And then pop whatever other pieces in that you have. Everything that you want to treat. Might as well make the most of it because, hey, you got this. I have everything submerged in here. You know, it's always going to be best if you can submerge the uh, stuff that you have. There's a few things that I can't fit into this particular tote right here. But I have some other totes that are bigger that I'm going to pop these guys into once this whole section is done. So this is pretty easy. You do nothing. You wait. Uh, I may come back in five or six hours to turn some of the pieces over just to make sure that everything gets done. Otherwise, we just wait. And it's roughly four o'clock in the afternoon right now. I'm gonna come back in the morning, pull this out, and show you what we have. All right, folks, it is the next day, roughly 7, 7.30 a.m. So this has been in for 16, 18 hours, something like that. So let's take everything out, see what it looks like. Whenever you take all of this stuff out, you want to make sure that you put it on a piece of cardboard or a tarp or just something so that it doesn't drip all over your, your uh, concrete floor. Otherwise, you're going to be making all kinds of little marks and stuff. Remember, this is intended to clean floors, but look at that. Once it dries, you won't see a speck of rust on this sucker. All right, so what you do next is going to be dependent upon how quickly you can get to these parts. If you're going to get to these parts really quick, you're gonna get them cleaned, you're gonna get them painted, you can immediately go and start washing just with water. Uh, if you want them to sit on a shelf for a while and be protected, just leave that acid on it. It'll just kind of dry and provide a protective coating on it. And as long as it's not extremely humid or outside, it'll stay rust free for quite a long time. So I'm ready to get going on this stuff. So I'm going to just start washing on it. And it's like anything, you just run it under water. I've got a toilet brush, believe it or not. That's one of the best things for getting in these little nooks and crannies to get uh, all of this out, but just give it a good scrub down. After that, I'm going to take it back inside the shop and do a uh, 
just blow it off with a compressed air. This is one of those things you gotta remember, this is now bare metal, just absolute bare raw metal. And if you don't get the water off quickly, it's gonna start rusting on you. Oh man, this thing is just perfect. Here's what we end up afterwards. It's got everything blown off, taped off, what I don't want painted, but really, really clean. If you do get a tiny bit of flash rust, you gotta remember that rust is a little different than what that rust was that, that came off. Really, you can just wipe it off with a, like a blue cloth or something. At this point, let's get to painting. I like to use the VHT roll bar and chassis or their engine paint. Either one, really, really good paint. Gets really hard once it sets up. So I generally go through and I'll put a medium coat to start. And I'll come back and put another coat after that sets up. And this is what it ends up looking like. Starts out looking like this, ends up looking like that. And it really was not that difficult to do. A couple of coats of that paint plus the acid treatment. And this is a really robust coating. Again, this is a really easy process. Didn't cost that terribly much money. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description for some of the stuff that I use, just in case you wanna get the same thing. Otherwise, like I said, with that acid, you can go get it down at Lowe's. If you guys found this helpful, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you're working on and if you try this method. It's really great on pieces like this that have just so many compound curves and stuff that you just can't get a wire wheel into. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this. Stay challenged, my friends.